हेलो गाइस इट इज शिवम यर वेलकम टू आर न्यू सीरीज ऑफ ऑसम फ्लटर फायर बेस क्विज ऐप वे आर वी आर डेवलपिंग द कंप्लीट ऐप फ्रॉम स्क्रैच विद एडमिन पैनल दिस सीरीज विल कवर सेटिंग ऑफ फायर बेस एज आर बैकहेड डिजाइनिंग स्टनिंग यूजर इंटरफेस क्विज कैटेगरीज क्विज क्रिएशन एंड मेनी फोर सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट दैट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन so you won't miss out any of the upcoming videos on this series so let's get started but before moving to the code let me show you what all things we will learn on today's video and how your app will look alike at the end of this video so here you can see the home page of our quiz app as i have told you there will be also a admin panel in our quiz app from the admin panel we will upload the quiz for each category like place animal fruits objects sports random etc so in our home page at the top you can see the user picture with the user name just below of it you can see the image of play and win and play quiz by guessing the image so here you can see the top quiz categories like place animals fruits objects sports random so this are the some categories for our quiz app and user can guess the image for each quiz category that i have just mentioned here so what i am thinking is that when i will click to the sports category then you can see it will redirect us to the quiz where at the top you can see the image of some footballer so here you can see the image of ronaldo so there will be a four option just below the image and the user have to click the correct answer and they can move to the next quiz of that sports category so like this user can learn many of the things from this app and can know more about the sports animals fruits etc as to upload the quiz for each category we will use a firebase as our backhead and we will upload the quiz from the admin panel to the firebase and we will use a firebase to show all the quiz in our app so this is just the first part of this quiz app series and in the coming future i will upload more videos from this series i have a small request from you please do not skip any of the clip from this video because if you miss any of the clip or part from this video then you might not get the end result that i have just shown you here because i will explain you in more detail why i have used all the widgets in the flutter app and by knowing all the widgets you can also customize the app in your way and also if you like this video and do not forget to hit that like button also you can follow along with me because as i have told you i am making the app complete from scratch so you can code with me and can know more about the flutter apps so now let's get started now let's move to the leaf folder and i will create a new folder name pages here and inside the pages folder i will create a new file name home.dart and inside the home.dart file i will create a stateful widget name home here now scaffold body container child column children so as you can see when i am writing widgets in the home.dart file their blue lines come at the bottom of each widget which doesn't look good when you write on the vs code so to remove the blue lines from this widgets i will go to the analysis options.yml file and in the rules i will add a two line here which will help us to remove the blue lines from each widget now i will just write prefer const constructor and will make it to false now we'll write one more line prefer const 
literals to create immutables and we'll also assign it to false now we'll save the code that we have just wrote in the analysis options.yml file and let's move to the home.dart file again and here you can see the blue lines has been almost disappear from the widgets now it's look good now i will write a container child row children and inside the row widget i will first show the image of the user and then that name of that specific user but before that we'll write decoration box decoration and in the color i will pass the customized color code for the container many of the old viewers might know that why i have used a 0x ff at the starting of the color code i have wrote here but and if you are new viewer and you are watching my first video from this channel then i want to say that if you directly write a color code inside the color function then it will not assign the color code that you have just mentioned so make sure it should be start with a 0x ff here now i will copy the same image that i have saved in the images folder which will be the random pick of the user now to assign the image from the images folder that you have just saved then you need to go to the prospect yaml file and you need to go to the asset and assign the images folder where you have saved all the image and you want to use in the app now we'll use image.asset images and we'll write a exact image file name which will be boy.jpg and we'll give the fixed height and width to the image and we'll fit boxfit.cover so that it can cover the complete height and width of the image that we have just assigned here now let's move to the main.dart file and here you can see the debug banner here so to remove the debug banner from here we need to go to the main.dart file and we'll write debug so check banner to false and as you can see the debug banner has been removed now let's move and call the home page here so here you can see the container that i have just wrote now we'll give the padding from the above so i will write padding as inset dot only from left top 50.0 and from the right now i'll give the specific height to the container so we'll write 300 so 300 is too much now let's change it to 250 or 220 okay now it's look good now in the row i want to move the image and the name of the user at the top so i will write cross cross axis alignment dot start here now i want to give the border radius to the image so i will use a clip react widget and will pass a border radius border radius dot circular and we'll give the border radius 60 here so it is done now i'll need to pass the username just beside his image so i will write a text widget here and inside the text widget i will write a username though i'm writing shivam gupta here and will give the style to the text widget by using a text style here and in the color i'll pass a colors dot white and font size 20.0 and font weight font weight dot bold so here you can see the username now i need to move the image to the center so i will again give the padding to the text widget here so we'll wrap up the text widget with a padding here and we'll give the padding from the top position now we'll give the with between the image and the name so i will use a size box here so it is done now i want to provide the border radius from the bottom left and bottom right position of the container so i will write border radius border radius dot 
only i will write bottom left and will write radius dot circular 30 and will pass same for the bottom right so here you can see the circular radius from the bottom left and bottom right position so 30 is too much so we'll make it to 20 okay so it is done now i want to overlap a container over the container so i will use a stack widget here basically stack widget help us to overlap a two widgets one upon the another so i will wrap up the container widget with a stack widget here Now I will pass one more container in the stack widget. So I will write container. Now child and in the row will pass a children. So in the row I will pass this image that I have just saved in the images folder and will use image.asset function again to get the image from the images folder. So here you can see the image that I've just shown by image.asset function. Now I want to give the margin from the top position. So I will write edge inset dot only top 120. And also from the left. Now decoration box decoration. And in the box decoration, we'll first pass the color of the container. So it will be black. Now we'll give the width media query dot of context dot size dot width. The reason for using the media query inside the width is because media query help us to make the app highly responsive. So if you use a media query inside the container and giving the width in the form of media query, then it will suggest the container to use a complete width of the screen according to the device size. Though each device has their own height and width, then it can help us to make the app highly responsive. Now we'll give the border radius to the container first. So I will write border radius, border radius dot circular 20. Now I will wrap up the image again with a clip react widget to give a border radius to the image here and we'll write border radius dot circular sorry border radius dot only because i want to provide the radius from the top left position so i will write radius dot circular 20 and from bottom left position so radius dot circular again 20. so now it's look good now i will use a text widget again because I want to show a text play and win here. So I'll copy the same text widget and will paste it here and will pass the text play and win. And we'll also increase the font size to 26 to 35 or 30. Now we'll give the size box because I want to give the width between the image and the text widget. So I will pass a width 30.0. Now I'll wrap up the text widget with a column widget here because just below of play and win text, I want to pass one more text suggesting that play quiz by guessing the image. We'll also pass a customized color code again.
so we need to decrease the font size so we'll write 15.0 now i want to move all the text to the left position so i will write cross cross axis alignment dot start the reason for writing slash n in the text widget is because i want to change the line of the specific text so i will use a slash n command to suggest the text to change the line and show the text from the another line so whenever you want to change a line then you can use a slash n in the text widget so i will write a text widget here and inside the text widget i will write top quiz categories where i will show all the categories like sports animals fruits object etc that i have just shown you in the starting of the video so let me add all the images for the specific category and then i will use the container to show all the specific image with their name but before that let me provide the padding from the left position so that there will be a clear space between the text widget so i will write edge inset dot only left 20.0 so as you can see i have saved all the images for the specific category now I will first pass a background color to a scaffold widget so I can give the complete background color to my app screen and will pass a customized color code here. So it is done. Now we will write row children and inside the children we will write image dot asset and and we will get the image from the images folder. So I will write images and will paste the exact image file name. So I will write place.png and will give the specific height and width to the image. And will use fit boxfit.cover so that image can cover the complete height and width of the image. Now we'll wrap up with a container. and we'll write decoration box decoration and we'll pass a color colors dot white and padding edge insert dot all 10 we'll use a text widget inside the column widget and we'll name the text place here and we'll pass the font size 22.0 and font weight dot w500 and we'll give the height between the image and the text widget so i'm writing size box height 20.0 Now I'll wrap up a row widget with a padding widget edge inset dot only left 20.0 right 20.0 and we'll give the width 150 to the container here. One more thing I want to say you that I am giving the specific height and width of the container according to my choice. So if you have any better idea or want to give a specific width and height to the container here then you can go in your way too because it will also help us to customize the code easily and make more changes 
in your app and can make it more attractive. Also, one more thing, please do not copy the complete code from the source code and paste it here because each and everything is necessary to hear. I am explaining why I have used all these widgets in the code here. So if you understand each and everything about the widgets, then it will also help you to customize the code easily. So now let's move. We'll give the size box height 20.0 because I want to provide the height from the top. Now we'll give the border radius to the container. So I'll write border radius dot circular 20. Now we'll wrap up a container with a material widget here. And we'll first give the border radius to the material widget. Then we'll give the elevation 5.0. So here you can see that we have just created our first category, which is place. Now I'll create some more categories like animals, sports, objects, etc. Now I want to give some even space between the two container here. So in the row, I will write main, main axis dot alignment dot space evenly. Now we'll copy the same container. Now I will change the images name to dog dot png and we'll also change the text name to animals here. So let me add all the categories one by one. Now, as you can see that there is a bottom overflow error because we didn't wrap up a container with a single child scroll view so that we can scroll the our home screen easily. So now let's move to the container and we'll wrap up with a single child scroll view widget. Now, as you can see that we can easily scroll our home screen here. So image.asset and we'll write sports.png and we'll also pass the text name sports. And save for the random. Now, as you can see that we can't see any space from the bottom so that it can help us to see all the categories easily so i will go to the container again and will write margin edge insert dot only and will provide the space from the bottom so i will write bottom 30.0 now you can see that we can see all the categories clearly now user can select any of the categories and can play the quiz according to his choice so i have created the complete ui for our home page and as i have explained you before the basic idea of our quiz app is that whenever the user will click on the animals category then it will show them all the quiz related to the animals first they will show the image of the specific animal with a four name of the specific animals and user have to select the specific image of that animal that they can see on the screen so like this they can get to know more about the animals and can learn many more things from this quiz app so in the pages folder i'll first create a new file name question dot dot where we'll show the specific question of our quiz and we'll create a stateful name question here So now scaffold, body, container, child, column, children, now first I will give the background color to the complete question screen. So we'll first pass the customized color code to the background color. Now we'll write row children and we'll first pass the 
icon icons dot arrow back ios because i want that whenever the user will move to the questions file of that specific category then they can click on this icon and can directly move to the home page again so we'll give the color colors dot white which will be the icon color here now we'll wrap up with a container and in the decoration boss decoration we'll first pass the customized color code to the icon here so i will again use a 0x ff here Now let's move to the main dot dart file and I'll first call a question file. So here you can see the screen. Now I will give the margin from the top. Now we'll wrap up a icon with a center widget here and we'll give the padding to the container. So I will write edge insert dot all six. Now we'll give the border radius to the container. So I'll write border radius dot circular sixty. Now I want to show a text here because I want to suggest the user that for what specific category they are playing a quiz here. So I will use our text widget. and we'll write a sports style text style and we'll first pass the color colors dot white font size 18.0 and font weight dot bold here so let me increase the size of the text here so i will assign it to 22 now we'll give the with between the icon and the text so i will write size box dot width 120.0 so let make it to 100 so now it's look good and also increase the size of the text now i will write container decoration box decoration colors colors dot white here do i can't give the complete margin to the container here so i will remove the margin from here and will specifically wrap up the row widget with a padding widget and will pass a specific padding from the top and left position now inside the container i will write child column children and in the children and in the container i will use a with again media query to use a complete width of the screen so i will write media query dot of context dot size dot width and in the decoration i will write border radius and as i want to provide the border radius from the top left position so radius dot circular 30 and from the top right position which will be the radius dot circular 32 so image dot asset and we'll use the images from the images folder again and i will write a ronaldo dot jpg i want to show the ronaldo image here and let the user guess the image with the option that we will just provide below the image so i'll give the height 300 and we'll give the width media query dot of context dot size dot width and fit box fit dot cover now we'll also give the height to the container so i will write media query dot of context dot size dot height but as you can see that if you write a media query inside the container then it will show the overflow error because 
we have already covered the sub part of the screen from the top. So if you again use a divide 1.2 then also you can't get the specific height of the screen. So it may not be highly responsive when you will test the app on the different devices. So to make it highly responsive, I will wrap up a container with a expanded widget here. So as you can see, after wrapping up a container with a expanded widget, then it covers the complete height of the screen because expanded widget suggests the container to complete use the height of the container and make it highly responsive so that we can test it on the multiple devices. Now we'll wrap up a image with a padding widget and we'll give the padding from the left, right and top. 40.0. Now let me provide the space from the top. So I will again use a size box widget here. Now we'll wrap up the image widget with a clip react widget. Now I'll write border radius, border radius dot circular 20. Now I'll write container with media query dot of context dot size dot width and we'll write decoration box decoration and will pass a border border dot all and will pass a customized color code to the border here now child text and will pass a text widget here and will write a one by one footballer name so i will first write cristiano ronaldo and will give the style by using the textile widget here and will write colors dot black and font size 18.0 and font weight dot w500 so we have pasted the container outside the column so we'll cut it from here and we'll paste it inside the column widget now we'll give the border radius to the container so we'll write 20 and we'll give the padding edge inset dot all 10 So now I'll customize the container according to my way. So if you have any better idea to customize the container, then you can also customize the code easily. Now we'll write a width 1.5 so that I can give the width to the border here. So it is done. Now I'll copy the same container and I will write some other footballer name so that user can guess the correct footballer name of the image that we have just shown above. So let me give the height between the image and the text widget. Now I'll change the footballer name to Lionel Messi. So I've added two more footballer name here. So when the user will click on the correct footballer name, then will make the container to green so that user can guess that they have selected the correct name of the image that I've just shown here. And directly they will move to the next screen of the sports category and can play the quiz together. 
सो दिस इज इट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ऑन आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कनेक्ट द फायर बेस एज आर बैक एंड देन आई विल शो यू हाउ टू अपलोड द क्विज फॉर ईच कैटेगरी फ्रॉम द एडमिन पैनल दो आई एम कीपिंग द लाइक एम फॉर दिस वीडियो इज ऑफ हंड्रेड लाइक्स सो डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट दैट लाइक बटन सो दैट वी कैन रीच द गोल एंड ऑल्सो डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन अंटिल देन कीप कोडिंग कीप हैविंग फन आई विल सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग